Walking up the street to attend George Watts Montessori is a privilege for every student that enters the double doors. It is a safe, personable, and positive environment that is under the protection of its teachers and staff. Teachers like Mrs. Sarah. Anna Sarah has been teaching at George Watts for seven years. Her interest in child development and family studies have led her to pursue her passion as a primary teacher. Mrs. Sarah's class is a class of curious and impressionable students, taking every word she says and action she makes as chief principles in their lives. They are her mini apprentices, learning something new and valuable each day. Together, kindergartners and pre-K students form their first experiences on what a classroom is like. They learn about the importance of classmates and forming healthy relationships with each other, the importance of participation, the importance of focus and patience, and the importance of humor. Being in a cross-sectional classroom gives the children the opportunity not only to explore new things about themselves, but also new things about the vast scope of education. By tending to a personalized pace and preference of schooling, each student is given the chance to love learning. While an individual work plan is given for the week, the classroom environment remains one that allows for collaboration and sharing. In Mrs. Sarah's class, education can be learning inside a controlled and closed environment, using tools of the senses and strict pencil and paper to practice new teachings. It can be the daily attendance to specials in which students become more familiar with artistic learning with Mrs. Burke through making music, singing, and hearing patterns. Or it can be through learning outside. Here, Danielle learns how to dribble a basketball and shoot. As he switches settings from a classroom to a playground, he learns how to interact with friends in a more flexible and fun environment. Maris learns how to safely run and play. She learns to explore her surroundings and take on tasks alone. At recess, she practices independence as she makes her own decisions about what to do and who to play with. But the most distinctive characteristics of the Zare environment are the relationships that form here. No child is left alone or isolated. Instead, every child is a contributor and recipient of the bright and buoyant spirit of the room. There is bonding between boys and girls, brunettes and blondes, walkers and riders, and pre-Ks and kindergartners over concepts that most adults lose value for as they grow older. These students value comforting friends, including one another, and supporting even the simplest of their needs. Conversation over vowels and names is not yet surface level, but a spark of interaction that will never be dull. There is an exchange of information and knowledge in the classroom, purely driven by the love for teaching and her students that Mrs. Sarah brings to the class every day. This class has been really great. Um, they're just a really great group of kids. They all get along really well. Um, and it's, it's almost like with this group, the pandemic's effects haven't negatively impacted their education, which is awesome. Learning under the instruction of Mrs. Sarah excites her students. Genuine interaction is a commonality. While the children may not know how to spell everyone's name or write the day of the week yet, learning amongst each other brings each student together. There is no focus or constraint on how to learn, only to develop as people together. Mrs. Sarah's class spotlights the similarities of all the students to form an inclusive learning environment. At the end of the day, students leave feeling accomplished and anticipating the next day. How does Mrs. Sayre get her students to become this way? She tends to them, teaching them that learning is not mutually exclusive from a helpful and happy environment.